Is the Circle Pad Pro worth it in 2022? No. Well, yes and no. If you have the original 3DS like I do, and you happen to have a game that supports it, then it is worth it. And here's why. In total, there was around 21 games that supported the Circle Pad Pro. In my opinion, the second Circle Pad feels better than the nub on the new 3DS. One of the first games I bought for my 3DS was Metal Gear Solid 3. Now I know it runs at 15 frames per second, but at the time I was blown away I could play this on the Nintendo Portable. Now with the Circle Pad Pro, I went back to this game, and it makes a world of a difference. Some of the other games that the Circle Pad Pro supported included the original Luigi's Mansion remake, uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, the Icarus game, It also supported the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. But for some strange reason, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon doesn't support it like its predecessor. Which was a bummer because it definitely needed it. Now I know what you're thinking. A lot of people have the new 3DS, so why am I bothering with the old outdated 3DS? Well, I wanted to upgrade for the longest time, but I never got around to it. And now that I started playing my 3DS again for the past two years, I looked into the new 3DS again. 200, 249, 299? Now I really want a new 3DS, but for those prices, I'm out. I could buy a Switch for that money. So if you're in my situation, then the Circle Pad Pro seems like a good buy if you want to play or even replay the games it supported in a new way. So yes, if you meet all those specific boxes, then yes, it is worth it in 2022. In fact, I want to have the world's biggest Circle Pad Pro collection one day.